So it really is declining and decaying in a very large way, in my opinion. And I think that these things and these thoughts of mine should be expressed a little more. And that's what I wanted to do today. And I appreciate you guys tuning in for the weekend edition of TTRP. Uh, that's the Transformers Talk Raw podcast. You can check those links in the description below. And that's going to take you to all kinds of cool stuff, including our Facebook group, where you can share your own channels, chat bots with us. We'd be glad to see you guys. You can also check out our Patreon if you'd like to help support the channel. We're going to be having another giveaway this month. So remember that every, if, if you go in with us, three bucks a month, it'll help contribute to that cause alone and provide better and better figures to give away to you guys. That's all I want to do, and it's my way of saying thank you for listening. But I know that this subject's been covered by myself, but I just wanted to go into it a little deeper and talk about some things that were on my mind. My buddy, uh, John Garringer actually covered it in his rant of the week, which is, to me and myself, John's a legendary Transformers content creator. He's been there for many years. I've, I've watched his content before I even started this channel, before I even did any reviews, and many, many years before I started the podcast. But he he talked a bit about HasLab and some of the things they could do and to remedy some of the problems that they're facing, in our opinions. Uh, but what I'm touching on is what I think it's a speculative discussion and what I think will occur uh, in the next few years as we see a trend with HasLab, especially HasLab Transformers projects. Number one, they're always backed. And the reason they're always backed is because uh, you see a lot of individuals buying up, you know, the maximum quantity, I think maybe five or multiples just to resell and there's nothing wrong with that in and of itself, but if you're letting it be, that's your motivation for <clears throat> being in the hobby is just to get product to resell it. I think that's kind of the wrong motivation, but that's your business. Um, but what really troubles me is Hasbro's continually downgrading in their size of HasLab Transformers. So we've seen Star Saber, which is, again, he's no larger than the commander class guys are jet fire. There's not much more added plastic, but yet they charge a Titan class price. And of course they've done the same with death source now. And I see that trend continuing, but what I see even continuing even longer possibly or changing is I think it's going to get to a point guys, to be honest, where we're going to get multiple HasLab transformers a year. And I think that while many of you might not view that as a bad thing, those are also going to be priced similarly to what we've gotten in the past couple of years. Uh, the same, you know, 180, 170, 200 dollar a pop for these commander class size guys. That you know, just a few, just a very short while ago, these figures would have been 80 bucks. You know, so I think that uh, not only we're going to see that, we're going to see the commander class in and of itself obsolete. I mean, there's really no reason for it to continue. Uh, either, it's, either it's going to go obsolete in the next couple of years or Commander Class itself and all scales themselves are going to keep getting smaller. Uh, that's the only way I see it going. You know, or you're, we're going to have maybe those, those Combiner Leaders staying at that Commander Class price point while larger bots are just not there. You know, there'll be no more bots the size of Skylinks at Commander Class or even the size of Rodimus with his trailer and everything that came with it, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, I, I just think it's it's poor value for the money, what we're paying. You know, this the HasLab, Death Source, and Star Saber, they're not MPs. They can't be compared to MPs, and they shouldn't be compared to MPs. I'm sure they're going to be great figures, fantastic figures, in fact. And again, it's not my intention to alienate or offend you guys. I really do respect you guys, and I, and I love you guys, and I hope you enjoy the figures. But for what you're paying, in my opinion, you're, getting, uh, you're not getting your money's worth. And, you know, because you could take that money and you could buy like a Black Zarek, the uh, Gen Selects Black Zarek, which is infinitely larger, infinitely much more plastic involved, infinitely a better value. Not to mention that he's an exclusive, but uh, what I'm saying is a Titan-sized guy. You could buy an Ark for that money, you know, if you don't have him. I'm just saying you're getting, you're not getting your values worth, guys. You think because of the exclusivity of HasLab, uh, you are getting your values worth, but the reason they're so exclusive and that we have to back them is because we continually tell Hasbro by paying for this stuff 
that that's how we want things to be that that's how we want uh, to purchase their products through these projects and we say well they wouldn't come about unless we didn't unless we did these things well i, don't, I just disagree I, I you know there was a certain time where we never thought you know when warbot defender came out for example we never thought we'd see the uh, thrilling dirty uh, Springer, last day of the record, Springer. We never thought we'd see him, but boom, Hasbro, we got it. There was a time when we thought we, you know, classics and universe. When those guys first came out, we were so shocked that we had classic style G1 style Transformers again. We never thought they'd come back, but sure enough, they came back. I mean, did we ever think? I never thought I'd see a mainline needle nose again. That's so awesome to me. So I'm not dogging Hasbro, but we keep telling them that we like this stuff. The only way we can speak to Hasbro is with our wallets. And if we stop paying for something, they're going to change some things. So if we don't like something, we have to tell them and make a stand and say, and pull back those purse strings, guys. Because as long as we continually back these projects, they're going to do it more and more and more. And it's going to become... And I know at least this much is true. It's going to become more important and more a part of their general sales. And I, I think they're going to push it to be that. And, you know, I'm uneducated in the ways of business and the ways of production and all that here. But that's the sense I really get, the general sense of things. But I'd like to see what you guys think. Let me know in the comments section. It's been a long week, guys. I hope you guys have had a restful uh, weekend so far and that you continue to have a great day, both Saturday and Sunday. God bless you guys. We're going to be back on Monday. And to all our one. This podcast is made possible thanks to the amazing support by our patrons. Click that link in the description below to help keep T-Talk Raw going strong. Thank you.